So today's technology tool suggestion comes from Roberto Flores. He and I were talking together and he shared this with me. And um, he said as a non-native English speaker that this uh, extension that he added to Chrome really helps him with looking for word choice, maybe synonyms, um, or maybe a better way or a different way to, to word something. When you are um, composing messages to families, you want to be clear in your messaging and you wanna make sure that you're um, using um, less words, you know, not being so wordy. I'm always too wordy. So this is gonna be a great um, app for me to use. So I installed it, I gave it a try, and I just think it's terrific. I've already used it today um, after Roberto and I um, talked. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Basically what you do is you go to the Chrome Web Store and um, I just typed in WordTune and this came up over here. It says um, remove from Chrome, it'll say install to Chrome. So you'll do that. So I've already done that. So that's how you find it. I'll also uh, drop the link in here. Um, but the way that it works is um, it's right up here in my toolbar, my extensions right there. Uh, the way that it works is it helps you as you are working with documents. So I'm going to open up the newsletter that I'm working on right now. And you'll see that when um, I click on it, all these words pop up. Now you can turn that off if it starts to you know, bother you. Um, for me, I think it's great. But what I did was if I come over here and I click in here, there's other words for saying things. So maybe instead of teach, saying teachers here, I want to say educators. Let's see. Now more than ever, as children are missing their friends, educators and class, no, teachers is fine. Um, let's see, collaborative ways, maybe cooperative ways, maybe. Uh, the article contains suggestions, uh, maybe recommendations, opinions, or ideas might be a different word. The other thing that is really cool that it does is that um, you can highlight a section, and I'll show you how you do that, but you can um, rephrase it. So I'm going to highlight this. This article contains suggestions for doing, no, no. Let's find new and innovative ways to support teachers and schools during this time of virtual learning. I go over here and I select this one that says rewrite and I click it. It gives me other suggestions. I'll move myself out of the way. It gives me other suggestions for how to say exactly what I thought I wanted to say. Maybe there's a different way to say it. So right here, it gives me the suggestion. Let's find a way to support teachers and schools during these times of virtual learning. Maybe not. Uh, let's support teachers and schools in this time of virtual learning by looking for new and innovative ideas. I just turned it around. Maybe that uh, you know, sounds better to you. Maybe you want to keep it. Um, we'll, no, I don't. Let's discover new ways to support teachers and schools during this time of virtual learning. Maybe that's what I'm trying to say. Um, we can find more innovative ways so it gives you some suggestions. Let's pretend that you like this one here. I don't like that one. Let's say we like this one and it changes your sentence. And then you can go back up and you can scroll through and you can see if there's any words that maybe you can be um, better with. So like absolutely, maybe we change it to definitely or exactly. Research indicates, indicates is kind of a weird word. And how about research um, confirms? and it changes my word to confirms. So this little tool is a great thing for um, improving your vocabulary, improving your word choice, um, giving you different suggestions. Sometimes you just need someone else to offer a different word um, because you end up using the same word over and over again. Like you use the word teacher 10 times and you can change it up a little bit. So it's called um, WordTune and it goes right up here in your um, extension bar. I've got lots of extensions, I love extensions but it goes right up there. It's called WordTune. So we can thank Roberto Flores for this um, tip. And it's, it's one that I'm gonna use a lot. I think it's wonderful.